The flesh gets weak at times. The flesh does wrong at times. But if we walk in the Spirit uh, of the Lord, I believe we can overcome so many things. Here on Full of Grace Ministry, we'd like to invite the Holy Ghost of Jesus Christ to walk in and around us and get inside of us. Holy Spirit of God, you are welcome here at Full of Grace Ministry. Walk in us and talk in us and be our God and we shall be your people. Lord God Almighty. Keep us from um, walking and talking in the flesh. The flesh gets us in trouble. Sometimes we feel like we're just crawling and barely getting by. Nothing is turning out right because we're just human and we're walking in the flesh. Uh, we need to change our life and change our history and change our ways. Uh, and to only do that, we must invite God Almighty to get down in here and change our thought pattern. Uh, maybe something good can happen if things wasn't working out too good for you. It's time time for a change. It's time for God to enter in and change some things and situations in our life. Uh, in Romans 7, 19 through 24. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. How many has been there? The things that you would not normally do, you end up doing. And the things uh, you would not do, you do it anyhow. Something is wrong somewhere. Um, uh, our flesh gets out of control. Why do I do the things I do? Why do I go to the places I go? Why did I say them horrible things to somebody? Why did somebody get on my nerves so bad that my tongue was unruly and I should not have said what I said? Uh, i got to change some things. This man uh, is flesh. Uh, this man has to change. And the only way this man can change and a woman can change is something deep down in their heart that wants a new life and be a better person. I don't want to do something that I should not do. And the things that I do not, I do them anyhow. I want to uh, put my body in control of what I should do. So I need Jesus way down deep inside me. I say I must walk. I must must talk and it must be in the spirit uh, because if I do anything that's not in the spirit it's no good uh, my 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 uh, but I see another law in my member warn a uh, against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my member. Sometimes the way we think gets us in trouble. We got bad thoughts in our mind and then our bodies follows along with that. Trish is going to read some things about the body, the mind, and the spirit. Um, we're going to bring this together. We're, we're, we're tired of, of things getting in our way and we're listening to the flesh instead of listening to the Spirit of God. May the Spirit of God 
enter your room today. Uh, you can have a, a new life in Christ Jesus. Let the mind of Christ be also in you. Change uh, the way you look. Change the way you talk. Change the way you walk. Change the way that you are dating. Change the way that you're going out into the world and doing the things you know you ought not to do. Um, somebody's got to take control. Let the Holy Ghost get down in you and change you in the precious name of the almighty, powerful God. Praise God. What a good word. Uh, you know, yes, we are flesh, and we need to let the Spirit of Christ be formed in us, and we need to walk in the Spirit. So, in Galatians 5, 22 through 23, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Okay, Galatians 5, 16 through 26. Then I say, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one another, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Those things that you would, that you don't wish you could, that you do, anyway. But if you be led by the Spirit, you are under the, if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, are these? These are the flesh, if you're walking in the flesh. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, hearsays, Indians, murders, drunkenness, revealing, and such like, of which I'll tell you before, and I have told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So if we walk in the flesh, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. Not my words, but the Lord's words. Okay, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the fl flesh with the affections and lust. Okay, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Okay, Romans 8. 9 through 11, but ye are not in the flesh, ye are in the Spirit. If ye be in the Spirit of God, it, if ye be in the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Now, if, you, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body, this body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Okay, first Peter one, fourteen through sixteen. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to your former lust, things that you lust after. What was those things? Uncleanness, adultery, fornication, and on and so on and so on. Don't uh, lust after your uh, former lust in your ignorance. Okay, we was talking to one of our sons the other night, and we told him that he could be anything that he wanted to be. And it's true. For all of us, we could be anything we want to be. If a person wants to be a doctor, they go after a doctor's degree. If a person wants to be a lawyer, they go after a lawyer's degree. Hairstylist, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Cast down imaginations, things that you think and imagine, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Okay, Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, he thinketh in his heart, thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but in but his heart is not with thee. 
Amen. Listen, whatever a man thinks, so is he. Uh, you can be anything you want to be. If you set your mind that you want to be a family man and have a family, you will have a family. If you set your mind that you want to be happy, you will be happy. Amen. Amen. As a man thinketh, so is he. Are we thinking right today? Are we thinking on good thoughts or bad thoughts? Are we thinking about positive thoughts or negative thoughts? Uh, I believe myself we are living in the last day. Why do I think that? I'm looking around me and seeing everything being fulfilled by the Scriptures and the Word of God. So I know that that is happening. Uh, the Lord is fixing to come back. Uh, now on this road down here, if you like Trish said, if you want to be a family man, if you want to be a loving man, if you want to be the right kind of man or woman, if you want to do the right things in life, we must change our ways of thinking and then put our bodies in control with the Spirit that liveth in us. As a Christian, we got power in us to change our situations that we have down here below. I believe that we should go to church. I believe we should listen to a man of God and the way you know a man of God, that he tells you to run to the Lord Jesus Christ and be his follower. I believe as a, a preacher that you're trying to find, he must be bold as a lion and harmless as a dove. I believe sin is sin. I believe black is black. And I believe white is white. Uh, I don't think we need any kitty cat preachers uh, that says, Lord loves you anyhow, no matter what you do. We need somebody to change our way of thinking. Uh, uh, if we are living in sin, we ought to know that sin is sin and sin will send you to hell. We must change that. Uh, so we don't need no kitty cat preachers. Preachers that preaches love without telling you that you need to get right, get your mind on track, turn away from evil, and reach toward your high calling in God, in Christ Jesus. Uh, let's change our way of thinking. Find a good church. Find a good preacher that will tell you and look you in the eyes and say, turn away from sin. Turn away from sin. That's true love. That's true love. These kitty cat preachers will say, I love you, I love you, I love you. But they won't tell you that you got to change. Uh, they won't tell you to invite the good Holy Ghost into your life. And that you can walk in the Spirit in, instead of the flesh. We've been walking in the flesh too long. We've been walking in the flesh too long. We need a preacher that will roar like a lion. We need the Spirit of the Lord God in us. And the Spirit must be Christ. Power within. Jesus has all power in His hand. Greater is He that is in you. Seek the Holy Ghost. You will know there is a God. So many people would say, how do you know there's a God? Well, ask Him in your life. Ask the Holy Ghost of God in your life. Get Him down here in your life and see if there's not a God. Try Him. Try Him. He's not too far away. Change your way of thinking. Just say, I'm going to think on God today. I'm going to invite Him in my life today. And then I guarantee you, if you knock, if you seek, uh, you will find good things will happen in your life. Things will change around if you're walking in the Spirit. If you are walking in the Spirit, when the Holy Ghost has come, he will testify of Jesus. So when you ask the Spirit of God in you, 
you will start speaking Jesus. Uh, listen to a preacher that will tell you you need the Holy Ghost. And then they will tell you, run to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is your power that will change your way of thinking, change your way of dressing, change your way of living, change your lifestyle all around. And then great, mighty, good thing will follow after that here on planet Earth until we reach our heaven. Good things will happen. We need to be bold as a lion. As a man thinketh, so is he. As a man think, so is he. As a man think, so is he. What are you thinking about today? Uh, are you thinking like this? I can't do right. I can't win for losing. I can't get it together. I can't feel right without medication. I can't overcome the flesh. I can't get ahead. I can't feel God. I can't feel happy. Anybody been there? And you know all of them things is fleshly. You cannot feel happy. You feel sad. You're wondering here and there. Trouble on every side because you're in the flesh. But if you just turn loose and let God enter into your soul, your body will follow. We must follow the Lord Jesus Christ. As a man think, so is he. Seek the Spirit of God. Then start saying, I can I can, I can be happy. I can feel God. I can get ahead. I can overcome the flesh. I can, I can, I can feel right without medication. I can get it together. I'm going to get it together. I can win. I can win. I am a winner. I am a winner. I can do right. You can say all the right things if you're walking. Walking in the Spirit. Uh, you can think positive. Change your life around. Start thinking positive. Keep your eyes upon God. I know the righteous one. I know the righteous one. His name is Jesus. He can make all things right for you. His name is Jesus. That name can change you. Put on His name. Put on His name. I ask the Holy Ghost to come in my life. I ask the Holy Ghost to come in my life. To come in my life. Jesus calls me His friend. Jesus calls me His friend. i got a mighty God, the everlasting Father, that calls me His friend. Now I know that I can get myself together. I know that I can turn right and turn from evil things and turn from evil thinking. I know I can because I got a helper. I got a helper. I got a provider. He clothes me. He feeds me. He shelters me. He gives me the things I need. I want standing here right now if I was not telling you the truth you're looking at somebody that don't have a dime but got everything praise God where did it come from it didn't come from no begging it didn't come from saying you need to give a thousand dollars it came from God Almighty my everlasting father that's got a kingdom up in heaven and he can bring the kingdom down to you just walk in his spirit walk in his spirit I'm walking in the Spirit now. Jesus leads the way. I can't go wrong. I cannot go wrong walking in the Spirit now. I'm walking in the Spirit now. I'm talking different. I'm walking different. I'm thinking different. I just do things different. I just do things different. Walking in the Spirit, great things happen in my life. Oh, when I walk in the Spirit, great things happen in my life. And I can tell you one thing. When I get in the flesh and do the things that a, a man or a woman does just in the flesh, I go wrong sometimes. 
I'll be the first to say it. But then I say, Lord, forgive me. Let me think right. Put my mind on track. Let my heart be toward you and your spirit enter me and change me. I'm no good without you. You are my light and you're my sunshine that brightens my day in the name of the mighty God. I just do different. Walking in the Spirit. Great things happen in my life now. My flesh will obey the Spirit. Try it. Try it. Get your spirit on track. Get your mind on track. And when you go thinking and doing wrong, uh, uh, just uh, let the Spirit take over. Let the Spirit take over. Say, no, 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 no. You cannot do that. No, you cannot go there. No, you should not start that trouble. No, back away. You went a little too far with your talking. You went a little bit too far with the uh, things you do. And then just make uh, your body change and do the right things. Sometimes a man gets angry and he sins. Uh, but praise God. We've got a loving God and we got a great teacher. His name is Jesus, the almighty, powerful God. Be amazed what God can do. Change your ways. Change your ways. I'm here to tell you God can do great things in your life. Give Him a try. Give Him a try. Just do right. Do right and see if He won't do it. Uh, he will do it, I guarantee you. He honors uh, He honors the righteous. He hears the prayers of the righteous. Your prayer's not being answered? Well, get to know the righteous one. Jesus Christ. Uh, get to know the righteous one. Let the Holy Ghost of Jesus Christ get in you so your prayers can be answered. We're serving a mighty God. Things good can happen to you. It can happen good to you in your relationship. It can happen good to you here on planet Earth when you're walking on your job, uh, out on the streets, uh, when evil's all around everywhere. Uh, uh, there's serpents, there are wolves on this side and that side. Oh, but be bold as a lion and harmless as a duck. You got a God that will take care of you and your enemies will fall. God said they would. Do you want an enemy solver? Well, get to know God. He'll solve your enemies. You don't have to lift one finger. God Almighty takes care of His own. Be amazed what God can do. If you walk in the Spirit and not in the flesh, let the Spirit take over. You can be a new. You can be new in Christ Jesus. That greater power, that greater power that raised you up where you need to be. That greater power will raise you up where you need to be. Looking for power? You can't find it in a book. You do all the uh, things that you think you should do to have this power? There's one great almighty power that no other power that does not match up to. You search your power. You see what kind of power you do. You search, uh, uh, do the things that you do and say, I can do this and I can do that. You cannot do nothing if the Father won't let you do it. Uh, oh, praise God. You need power? You need Jesus. You want power? You get to Jesus. Uh, he'll raise you up where you need to be. Receive the Spirit of Christ, the Holy Ghost power. Receive the Spirit of Christ, the Holy Ghost power. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Sin brings death. Sin, when it's conceived, brings forth death. Well, that's why we need a preacher to be bold enough to say, turn away from sin. Sin brings death. Uh, and... Um, Jesus brings life and more abundant 
abundantly. Do you want to walk in this world down here below in death? I don't know which hour that you just might go. Sin brings death. But we have a man that can give you life and more abundantly. I want to walk in that abundant life. And to do that, I must say, John, behave. Walk in the Spirit of Christ. John, behave. Walk in the Spirit of Christ. You carry a power that demons tremble. Uh, The very mention of the name of Jesus, devils tremble. So if things are not going your way, things are holding you down in your bed, holding you down in your chair, holding you down uh, in every way you go. You can't uh, even drive down the street without crying. There is a powerful God that can change your life. I know what I'm talking about because such were some of you. Such was some of you. Uh, Some of you was not right. Uh, uh, Some of you just didn't do things right. But you know yourself. uh, If you kept dwelling on the Spirit of God and asking God to come into you, uh, some of you change. Uh, Some of you turned around and you got a new life and good things have happened. He can do it. He can do it. He can do all things. There's power in the name of Jesus. Carry that power. It's a Holy Ghost power. It gets down in you. It saves you. It makes you a new creature. It takes pain away. It takes sorrow away. It changes your life. It changes the way you think. It changes the way you talk. It changes the way you walk. It will change your life and whatsoever you touch or do. Uh, When you walk in the store, there's power next to you. When you get in your car, there's power next to you. Are you feeling lonely? Are you feeling lonely? There is someone that can be always with you if you just let him in. And then when you walk uh, and when you talk, uh, there is a Jesus that said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go with you all the way, even to the end of the earth. Where are you, Jesus? Oh, I found you in the Holy Ghost. I found you in the Holy Ghost. I told you to come in. And now you're making a new creature out of me. Praise the name of God. Oh, Lord. Romans 10, 14 and 15 and 17. How then shall they call on Him in whom they have not believed? Does anybody believe? And how shall they believe in Him of whom they have not heard? Has anybody told you? Has anybody told you to turn away from sin? To get your mind thinking right and living right so good things can happen to you. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Run to a preacher. Run to someone that's helping you and bold as a lion and tells you to turn away from sin. And the sin I'm talking about is the things that Trish read that says you will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm not talking about things that people say you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, or you shouldn't wear this. Or should. I'm talking about the things that she read out of the Word of God said you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Turn away from them sins. Turn away from them sins. And then if you have a preacher that's bold as a lion and tell you that sin is sin, black is black, and white is white, then find a preacher. And how shall they preach except they are sent? Jesus once went away and on this earth he traveled and he picked out disciples. And my Lord, their life changed. Uh, this power that Jesus had, he gave it to his own. Uh, this power that Jesus had, my goodness, they didn't need money. They didn't need things and items. They had Jesus, the most precious gift that they could possibly have. It changed their life. It changed the way they thought. When they seen somebody crippled, they said, such as I, uh, silver and gold, I have none. 
but such as I have, I give unto you. Isn't that better than a Cadillac? Isn't that better than a new home? Isn't that better? Isn't that better than silver and gold? When you got a man and a preacher say it like Peter did, uh, such as I have, I give unto you. Uh, oh, and then he went on to say, Receive ye the Holy Ghost as for your children and their children too. too. Praise God. So then faith cometh by hearing. Anybody hearing? Anybody hearing? Do you have faith? If you don't know what faith is, it's all about Jesus Christ. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Uh, Start believing. Start running to Jesus. Ask the Holy Ghost of Jesus to come into your life. That is your faith. You won't get nowhere without knowing your God. To know your faith is to know your God. To know your faith is to know your God. Blessed be the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, this we call Jesus. Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. But the righteous are as bold as a lion. The righteous is bold as a lion. Be righteous. Be righteous. Let God take over. You don't have no problems. You tell the flesh when it's hurting. No, 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 no. My spirit says you feel good. Uh, uh, and you tell the flesh, uh, get right. Uh, listen to my mind. I'm walking in Christ Jesus. Uh, I don't feel that hurt no more. i got a man that's the best doctor that can ever be. I've tried him. He's true. He's real. And he does what he says he'll do. He does what he says he'll do. He's a healer. He's a savior. He's a mighty God. He will set you free from all addiction if you want to be set free. If you want to be set free. Matthew 18. Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as a dove. The devil thinks he's wise as a serpent. He thinks he's got it all together. He knows how to trick you in any kind of way, any kind of a deceiving way. He thinks you don't know he's, what he's doing. But we got a God named Jesus that told us to be wise as a serpent. Uh, uh, no devil can fool you. No devil uh, uh, can do any harm to you because you're a little head uh, further than he is. Uh, he cannot offer you anything because don't tempt the Lord thy God. Don't tempt the Lord thy God, serpent. Uh, if Christ is in you, you have the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. No devil any trick, any of uh, the uh, backstabbing ways can harm you. Uh, you're in the hands of the powerful God that sits upon a throne, and His name is Jesus. No tricks will do. No tricks will work. Because you're wise as a serpent. They think they got you. They don't have you. They don't have you. Get your mind right. Get your body right. Do the right thing. Go. Pray. Seek. Find do the right things. You need a new life. You need to get all the troubles and the sadness out of your life. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. We all can get into temptation. Watch and pray. When you think something is tempting you, pray, 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 pray. It might flash on the TV. It might flash out there in the store. It might flash on the computer. A little temptation there, a little temptation there. But pray, 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 and be wise as a serpent uh, because them temptations are not going to work because you know a God that's more powerful. Uh, if they had any sense, they'll run to that God if, if, if they had any sense. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. We get weak. 
that's why let the Holy Ghost take over. Let the Holy Ghost take over when you get in flesh. When you start talking wrong, when you start looking wrong, when you start saying things you should not say, that trouble that you should not stir up, let the Holy Ghost take over and then think right and have your spirit take control of your body and then things will get right. If you say you have no sin in you, you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you. But we know a God that takes away sin. He's greater than sin. A man that loves God hates sin. Hates sin. And then when you go to do wrong, if you listen to the Spirit, you will change the wrong that you do. You will turn away from it. And then you'll start living a good life and good things will happen. Praise God. We can change if we change our spirit, our thoughts, and the way we do it. That is a powerful God. His name is Jesus. If you get to know Him, your life can be new. Your life can be new. Don't think there has not been trouble in your life. Don't think there has not been temptations in your life. Don't think that I have not failed. Don't think that I have done things I should not have done or went the wrong places I should not have went to. But don't think also that I don't know a God that can change the way you think, the way you talk, and change your lifestyle and the things you do and get you on track. Uh, uh, the things I did, I don't do no more. That's a used to be thing. I don't know that man no more. And uh, a woman that used to do these things, she don't know that woman no more. She's a new creature. She's a bride of Christ. And Jesus lives in her. And she's a righteous woman that's hard to find. And she pleases every man she comes in contact with. Praise God. Yeah, I want to say something. You know, I was sitting here thinking as he was preaching. In the closet of our mind, come out of the closet, here's the thing. In the closet of our mind is packed away a bunch of junk. A bunch of junk. And what we need to do is take them old things and discard them, get rid of them. Listen, I've been through it. I've been through the ringer. My ability has been disabled many times. Many times. <laughs> and I want to say that without Jesus Christ, I couldn't stand here, I couldn't speak, I couldn't talk, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't move, or, or have my being. I couldn't do anything without Christ, because I have been so far down that you just don't even know. And uh, one uh, service I'd like to have, and probably near in the future, I'd like to have a uh, service about our own testimonies, and also for intercession for our families because you don't know the struggles that other people go through. And uh, I, I know that it's not to lift up the devil to tell the things that you've been through, but to show the power of God through Jesus Christ. He, his strength is made perfect in our weaknesses. And am I weak? Oh, you better believe that I'm weak. But when I'm weak, his strength is made perfect. Like I said, my ability has been disabled many times i stand up here i put on christ and i'm able to do this and john stands up here he puts on christ this is no longer john it's christ in him the hope of glory and when d sider 63 daryl uh, does the minister of music he puts on christ and he, he puts forth his effort and puts Christ out there. And with Chaplain Judy Lynn puts forth her effort, she puts on Christ. She puts Christ out there. You no longer see Chaplain Judy Lynn, but you see Christ in her. And then the very thing, we don't know the struggles. When he, she puts on Christ and sings her song and puts her foot forward and, and gets out there and works in this ministry, she's putting on Jesus Christ. She's fishing. Oh, my God, she's fishing this summer. And she's uh, uh, catching those uh, fish in her net, Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that, Lord, that you just bless this ministry, not for our sake, Lord, but for your sake. Draw people that needs to be drawn. Each week we, we, we compel people to come in. We don't go out there and just beg them to come in. What we do is we let the Lord pick and choose. And so we go out and, and we, we see what the Lord's doing. And I just pray that his anointing would continue to this ministry. Amen. We need to try to lift our brother. And I'm talking about our brothers and sisters in the Lord. The one that's claiming Jesus as their uh, Savior. Uh, if we look at the flesh, if you look at me, you might find all kinds of faults and wrongs. But I don't want you to look at me. I want you to look at the God uh, that is with me and that I proclaim and his name is Jesus. Uh, don't see John, you'll see wrong. Uh, uh, we are so guilty of sometimes looking at Christian people and we can find all types of wrong and, and being in the flesh uh, we would sure like to straighten uh, up every situation we see. Uh, but you know what I found out? Uh, most of the time when we're trying to straighten something up, uh, if we look at, into the mirror, we'll find out why ain't somebody telling me to straighten me up. Uh, I need to be straightened up myself. Uh, praise God. And I only find it in the Word of God, the great straighten upper. His name is Jesus. He can straighten us all up when we fail and do wrong. But we need to lift our brothers and sisters up in the Lord. When we uh, fall, try. I thank God for Sister Judy that gives the Word every day. I get up in the morning I read that Word and sometimes it hits me. I said, how did she know I needed to read that? It brought joy on me. And matter of fact, it changed my way of thinking. The Word of God can change the way you think. think it's, thank you, Sister Judy Lynn. Thank you, Sister Nan striking toe pads. You do so wonderful and we thank God for you and God is smiling down. I know He has to be because you're doing it for Him, the love of Jesus. Minister of music, you keep on singing them song. You keep on leading the choir and if I cannot follow you, I'll do my very best. Uh, just tell me how to do it. Uh, you're the leader. I'm the follower. I'm just a servant. When it comes to the choir, i got to serve you. And just teach me how to do it. Praise God. Yes, I want to lift this ministry up. You know, here's the thing. John and I, we can't sit at the computer all the time. And our phone is not connected to our computer either. And so we don't get on it as, as often. But we've got diligent workers for Christ that does check on it every day. And we're proud of it because uh, everybody fills in the gap where, where other people. And like we've been working in the community doing some things. So I, uh, I just pray that the Lord will continue the good work that he's doing. And the anointing would uh, would keep going forth in the name of Jesus. I do know this when we get off track and sometimes we cannot make it uh, to the uh, the service that day, every day, uh, but I miss it so much and, and then I get the feeling kind of depressed and lonely and sad because uh, I, I need to hear the word. I, I, I need to hear the song again. I need to see what's sent over. And so I try my best to get right back on there, and it gets me back on track, and I start even thinking a little different. And when you just sit around and not do anything, oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, and the cares and the fears of this world will throw you off big time. I find out when when I'm, I've got my mind on this and I'm singing a song and I'm I'm reading Sister Judy's uh, messages. It keeps me right, and it keeps me on track, and and I thank God for all of you. We're here on Saints now to find 
uh, and Jesus. So when we see him in the clouds, uh, somebody was bold enough to tell us about Jesus. You're looking at a man that was not always bold. Uh, uh, when I was growing up, if you knocked on the door, I would take off running and hide. I, I did not want to see you. Now I can look the Pope in the face and say, Jesus is the mighty God and the everlasting Father. That's how bold I am today. Uh, um, before, I would just run and hide. There was a time when I was so depressed when I lost love one that I had a bag of medication. It was not doing me no good. But then I got my mind thinking up on the Lord and good things. And I looked in the mirror and I told myself, uh, i got to change. i got to get on track. Life has uh, got to be better than this. And I found it right here. I found that was the best medication I possibly could have. And I'm not on nothing not anything that's how the lord can change it but one bottle of medication put you on another bottle and another bottle put you on another bottle till finally your head is just spinning and the wolves are all around you and the serpents are all around you don't know what you're doing well i had to come back up here because that got me excited because the lord has delivered me many a times and you know I'm not on any kind of medication either. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I quit smoking for 20 years. And then I got tempted to start back. I started back. And then I quit again. The Lord delivered me again. Praise God for His, His mercy and His grace. And uh, then I was on all kinds of medication. I went through depression and still go through depression. Uh, you're not exempt because you're a Christian, but you've got somebody that can counsel you and can help you. And you have a great position, which is in the spirit of Christ. And I've been through a depression and, and loss of loved ones. And, and uh, at times I still go through depression. But you know what? If it hadn't been for Jesus, I'd have lost my mind. You know, and he delivered me out of everything, every walks of life that there is. And I, I praise him for it. He can deliver you and, and take you off all medication. I was on, before I lost weight, I was on two blood pressure medicines. And uh, uh, I was, my blood pressure was going higher than God's. And I mean, it was, it was pitiful. And I said, I've got to get a hold of myself. And so I lost weight to save my life, literally. <laughs> Well, up people brings my uh, blood pressure up, but then I found a person that can bring it down is Jesus. I want to tell all the team members here on Full of Grace Ministry, if you want to make a short little video and just give God thanks, uh, a little message or something, uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, testify. And uh, you don't have to write it down if you don't want to. Make your video. S and and uh, Sing Snap Original and then just paste it on there and let people hear your testimony. And let it be good and glorify God. I know He's been good to me. When I talk about the bad things, it's not to talk about the bad things. It's to talk about a good God that takes you out of the bad things. Uh, so just... Uh, if you'd like to uh, give a testimony, do it. Just uh, go to Sing Snow Original. This is for anybody on Sing Snow. If you just like to say something uh, in the in the love of God and just say thank you, Jesus, do it in a video and just send it on over to your Sing sing snout church uh, full of grace and ministry where jesus is lord we lift him up high god bless you and have a great week